Hi everyone, due to all your inquiries and questions, I've decided to do this next segment. It's about unlawful behaviour by the police and government, and I want you to all know your rights, because it's taken a lot of work to learn all this information. Now, uh, number one, do you know that the police use a particular language to trap you and make you submit, uh, and make you feel below them? Um, it starts with the blue and red flashing lights. When they turn them on, what it does, it activates uh, mechanics in your body which makes your heart race and beat fast, makes you feel like you've done something wrong. Uh, that's the first stage of their activation. The second one is their language. They use legal ease which is a type of entrapment language. If you ever heard them say, do you understand? Uh, it's meaning that they stand above you, yet all people were created equal. So from now on, I want you to amend that. Uh, you comprehend a whole lot of things, but you don't understand anything because you don't stand under them. And I want to make that really clear. The police are public servants and the government are meant to be public servants. But since they've made so much money from everyone, they've become out of control. And we've turned into a dictatorship on a global level. So what I'd like you to do is focus on these points. I'm going to go through them bit by bit. And then at the end, I'm going to let you know that uh, coming up in... The next segment, I'm going to give you all a document, a notice for free. I usually charge $880 for it, but I'm going to start to give out these documents free just to help people. Now, a lot of people are struggling. They can't afford it. So I'm going to support you in that way. And that's the document where you're able to put a power of attorney over your birth certificate. Uh, so you can reclaim your securities. Um, the next area I want to say is uh, a lot of people have been getting a lot of fines and I've had so many inquiries how to deal with that. I'll do a segment on notice writing and how you can submit a notice in order to trap them at their own game. And um, I'm going to work through that bit piece by piece and that leads me to the next space which is when they try to give you a fine uh, they're now using coercion. If you don't accept it, they're going to take you to prison. So you need to accept it, but under these terms, make sure you're recording the video and say, I'm going to accept this, but only as evidence um, to use in a court of law. That way, you actually have... Um, not accepted it as a fine that you've done something wrong. Uh, let's be clear that doing something wrong is harming another person um, or stealing. Now, they've been clearly doing that to me. Uh, they've stolen my own private plates, which haven't been in contract with any government department. Now, be clear that when you register your vehicle, you hand over your vehicle to the government. That's why they can now seize your vehicles. So we're creating a solution for this. And I tell you what, it's the most exciting solution I've ever seen. There's a big group of people working on it. And uh, I'm going to notify you all about how you can resolve that issue once and for all. Um, but it doesn't mean you can break the law. Uh, it just means that you'll be free from the system and coercion and a monopoly which shouldn't be taking place right now. So I'm going to move on to the next step. Uh, some of the things that the police are saying when they pull you over, um, they're using ignorance. Um, now, ignorance is no excuse. And what they say to me is it's above my pay grade. I'm saying but no, that's not okay, it's above your pay grade, because uh, not knowing the law is no excuse. You can't just write out a fine because you don't understand it. So they're now just writing out a fine, they're stealing my number plates which are privately owned, and they're saying that it's above their pay grade. Well, if it's above their pay grade, learn your job or don't do your job. Because if we know more than you, then you really should get off the road. Um, I want to understand, you'd understand the difference between sovereignty and a citizen. Because you're being called sovereign citizens now because it's come from above, leaked through the police station, and they've put it into the media to try and target everybody who's actually learning about the law and everything they're doing wrong. Now, whenever they call me a sovereign citizen, I laugh and I go, you sound, you know how stupid you sound right now, like a puppet who's been told what to do by someone above you? A sovereign is free. A citizen is a slave. Now, the two can't go together. And they say, oh, so what are you, Grant, if you're not a sovereign citizen? I says, I'm free. I've got a power of attorney over my birth certificate. And that's my point about talking about this segment.
Um, I want you to be able to protect your property. Now, under UCC law, you can, by putting a power of attorney over your birth certificate, getting your UCC and putting a lien over yourself for $60 million, which means they have to satisfy that before they can touch any of your property. And I'm going to cover that in depth later on as well. Uh, this is all a big lead up. So the gift that I'm giving you is an $880 document for your birth certificate in the next segment. And I'm going to cover them. And any questions you have, keep sharing online because everyone's learning. I know a lot of you are really smart out there. You know a lot about this stuff. Uh, let's just keep sharing and keep putting all the great questions in and then I will deliver. And then in the next segment, I will get you the links in order to get your power of attorney document for over your birth certificate. Have a good day. Talk soon. Is there an emergency? An emergency? Rep just been stopped for a registration license check. There you go. What's this? Um, you're being served. Um, being served? Yeah, you're being served. Served with what? Um, a document of mine for any unlawful detainment and uh, starting from the clock now. Uh, my name's, uh, I go by the name of Grant Warren Hudson. Um, I have a power of attorney over my birth certificate. Do you have a driver's license on you? I do. Yep. I'll grab that off here. Is it your vehicle? Uh, it is my vehicle. I own it. Yep. Registered to yourself? Yep. Yep. Under you... UCC law. And international law. Okay. I've got all my documentation here. Number one. Now have a look at that. That's my UCC filing number in the US. What's a rego? Your proper rego in your car? Um, there's a copy of my registration and my insurance. Third party and full comprehensive what, insurance. What was your surname? <coughs> your last name, sorry. Um, I'm power of attorney over Grant Warren Hudson. Here is my notice. Um, That's okay. To Neil Scales, the Director of General, the Department of Transport. There's my registration. Did you say Warren was your middle name? Yeah. What's your date of birth, Grant? 1957. Here is, is my. Though, here is. Well. Yes, it is. It's registered under international law, and there's my copy uh, you it's can have a look at. Law. Yeah, uh, it is the registration. Is it regi registered with. Neil Scales, the Department of Transport, yes. Under my UCC filing number, there's a copy. It's the third time I've been through the same process. Well, you're driving around with plates that don't belong to the vehicle. Uh, they do belong to me and they do belong to the vehicle. Uh, they're my plates and uh, under my UCC number and they're registered and insured. Every part of it is totally lawful. And if you check all your documentation, you'll see it's in order. This isn't registered with Queensland Transport. It's no. a point in Queensland Transport as a judiciary. I own this vehicle. You guys don't own it. It's not under Queensland Transport. It's under international law. This vessel is in dry dock and it is absolutely clear if you have a look at this this is appointing neil scales of the judiciary and this was served upon him and he has a copy of this I don't, I don't need that. well you do need this because this is where it shows you the registration and there's a registration number do you type all this up, sir? pardon do you type my this lawyer up? did all this Who's it's your totally lawyer? lawful oh yeah who's your lawyer Quentin smith of broad beach law group there's the registration number of the vehicle, UCC 2023-05231237, private, vessel and dry dock, UCC 1-30A. Yeah, none of that makes... Um, doesn't make sense to you, but no, you need to understand that it is lawful. And insurance company wouldn't insure us if it wasn't, correct? And you got a copy of insurance, and you can contact your superiors and check with them. All my paperwork's in order.
It's not in your system. You guys don't own it. It's private. Me. This is where they get really confused. And this is also my power of attorney over my birth certificate, me taking ownership over myself. This is where it gets really interesting. So, if you follow these procedures, um, if they break any laws from here on out, then they're being unlawful, and that means they're trying to stand over and above me and using coercion, which is also unlawful and against the law if they try to stop me from driving my own vehicle. So now they're going to have to contact their superiors and this is where it gets confusing for them. So let's see what happens. Vehicle for? That's another new vehicle. Another new one? What do you do with the other ones? I sell them every year. Every and I buy a months. new one. Well, that'll make sense. Well, it's not on your system for good reason. You guys don't own it. It's not owned by you. It's yeah, owned it's by my private organisation. Yeah, we know. It's... I know where you're coming from, but I've been down this. I've won it in court over and over again, and we just have to keep going down the same path until you guys realise that um, this is lawful and what's happening. I know you don't think it is but all my paperwork's in order. My insurance is there Everything's there. You ring up double AMI. You can check with them. Oh, my vehicle's it's fully comprehensive. Shoot. No, it's registered Look it's registered. this it's document. Insured. I have a receipt of insurance and I'll show you have a look at this document shows It's insured with I Neil Scales yeah, at the Department of Transport. We know it's insured, but it's not registered. No, it's registered. It's registered. You can't see the registration. That doesn't mean to say it's registered. It's registered under UCC law with Neil Scales, appointing him as the judiciary. Now, you don't understand that, but if you ring your superiors and check with them, it's still registered, just not on your system because they don't contract with you guys. Well, now, you'll have a car, as, we, as you know, on a Queensland road, you have to register it. No, you don't. UCC Law 1-308 states clearly that you don't have to contract with Queensland Transport if you don't wish. However, you can appoint them as a judiciary. Now, it's not... Do you know if you say you have to register that that's coercion and you're forcing me to contract with another company or organisation, which I don't have to do? I mean, you don't realise this, but everything's changed since 2020. You know we're in currently in martial law. I own every part of this vehicle. I own the plates, I own the car, and it can't be touched or tampered with. It's my vehicle. This way it gets interesting. Hold it here to me. At least they're not coming on my side. They're trying to work it out right now because they know that I'm right. It's hard for them to... It's really easy if they don't come on my side. But if it's on my side, it's harder. Because they might, like, take the phone off me. But they can't do that. No, well.
So right now the clock is currently ticking. I'm served them with a document. We're at ten thousand dollars per hour. So we just sit here and we wait it out. The clock's currently ticking. Then we serve them this video as evidence to the fact that the clock is currently ticking, and they're at ten thousand dollars an hour. And we continue to do that. So here's the ten thousand unlawful detainment, apprehension, arrest. So right now we're just going to sit here and we're going to wait for them to try and work it out. They're now on the phone to their superiors trying to get to the bottom of it. Because I've got a copy of everything. I carry a copy of everything with me. And we haven't even got to the first will and testament of the grantor yet. Which is my mother putting power of attorney um, over my birth certificate. Which means they don't even have the right to actually pull me over right now. I'm totally out of their jurisdiction. So this is where it's going to get really fun. And you know what? I'm not going to give up. Ever. Until I put this thing to bed. And these guys start to understand that I don't need to register my vehicle with them. That everybody has their own right to travel. And no one should try and stop them. All right, now they're contemplating whether they should continue down the path or not. And they realize that they're being served with my document now as well, which is making them question that too. So how much an hour do they want to be at? And what do they want to go through? You to go. No problem. I just want to let you know so you know what's happening. <laughs> Free. 